Hey guys, this is Dearly, and I just wanted to follow up on yesterday's video because there was a lot of information that was tried to be explained in a short amount of time, and I explained it really badly. A lot of people on r slash games um, corrected me on a lot of the stuff that I said, and I'd like to thank a lot of them. Um, there are a lot of names that I would have to list, but I'll just link the thread, and yeah. Basically, first of all, the 32-bit game would not have happened. First of all, I have a game running in the background with bots in it that is currently using 2.2 gigabytes of RAM, which is more than a 32-bit process would be able to use. Technically, that's it's actually it could actually use 3 gigabytes, but that's really complicated and something that Call of Duty probably wouldn't be able to do. So. Yeah, basically, it probably wouldn't be able to run on a 32-bit operating system, and they would have had to develop a separate 32-bit um, process that would work on 32-bit systems, because a 32-bit system just can't run a 64-bit um, game that easily. Secondly, um, a lot of people took what I said, that all of this wasted memory addresses are actually wasting your memory and that's also not true and that's not a reason that the game requires six gigabytes of RAM as a matter of fact we don't know why the game requires six gigabytes of RAM still it's a really weird hard code in that they have um, I don't think anybody has been able to explain why this game requires six gigabytes of RAM at all it's what my video yesterday still doesn't explain it um, because all of that, Alec, um, all of those wasted memory addresses are just not doing anything important. They aren't harming, and they aren't really causing anything bad. At least on a 64-bit operating system, which is all I'm going to talk about in this video, because the 32-bit stuff is just out of the question. Um, so the the fact that there's wasted uh, memory addresses is not it is not a problem to requiring six gigabytes of RAM it still um, it's just not doing anything however I still do have the theory that they did block off the DVARs all the way up into the 64-bit um, address range in order to try and deter some cheaters that was part of a theory that I had for um, their reasoning behind this. A lot of the cheats um, accessed variables up in this range through write process memory, um, through basic code and Visual Basic and C++. Um, and oddly enough, write process memory cannot access 64-bit addresses. It can access 32-bit just fine, but for some reason, when it comes to accessing a 64-bit address, it just doesn't do it. It just breaks. Or just... I don't even know what it does, really. It, it definitely doesn't change what's at that address, but it still works at anything that's on a 32-bit address, which really doesn't make sense. But... I don't know. The thing is, you can still change these values through Cheat Engine. Most of the cheats or mods or whatever the hell that's come out have been from Cheat Engine. There has only been one case, and that is the FOV Changer, which is using some sort of other method that um, is able to find the var variable and change it without going through the addresses itself. And, yeah. So, it was a theory, possibly, that they were doing it because of cheats. I don't know if it's true, but one theory that is probably more likely is that it's just a lazy console port. Um, all the console, all the next gen consoles have 8 gigabytes of RAM, so they might have just ported that, they might have just taken that and said, look, we can run it on this, we can just throw it on PC and it'll work there. Um, they probably, they should have 8 gigabytes of RAM by now or something like that, I don't know. It just I don't know they it it doesn't take much to realize that you don't need to have a six gigabyte hard cap on 
uh, hard coding on RAM requirement in order to run this game. It never even uses over 3 gigabytes of RAM. It doesn't make sense to have it. So, what they were thinking, I don't know. So, basic summary. Um, 32-bit operating, uh, 32-bit operating system, this game would just not run. Other, unless they somehow managed to make the RAM requirements less, and the fact that it's using, um, addresses up in these ranges, it doesn't matter. Um, the possibility that they made the DVARs up in this higher area of addresses uh, to deter cheats is still a possibility, but it's not too likely. It's more likely just because they did a lazy console port to PC. And, I mean, given their past, I wouldn't put it past them. Uh, and, yeah. So, apologies for some of the things that I said wrongly yesterday. Um, and, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to make too many more videos on this game. I'm probably going to go back to Path of Excel very soon. Uh, this game I enjoy a lot, still do, and yeah. I'll probably continue trying to make an FPS and FOV unlocker, um, but um, I could release one right now as a cheat engine table uh, that's just an executable, uh, but it's really risky. I don't want to do it because I could possibly get people banned through Punk Buster on other games such as COD 4, such as... I think Battlefield uses Punk Buster. Uh, I can't remember, but basically, if you accidentally leave it running while there's a game with Punk Buster running, um, it's going to detect it as a cheat and just instantly ban you. So, yeah, I kind of don't want to release that. And that's why I kind of wanted to work on just a Visual Basic or a C thing, just to get your FOV and FPS unlocked. So, yeah. I'll keep trying to work on that, guys, uh, but for now, I don't know. This is the release on and off. Peace out.